And we're joined by a Checkers owner, Michael Kahn. Uh, Michael, this will give you a time now. The season has uh, obviously expired for the Charlotte Checkers, a time to reflect and give your views on the, the games that we saw over the course of the season, obviously disappointing. But I want to start sometime around January, early February. Your team was on top of the division, contending for one of the top spots in the conference. At that point, with what you saw on the ice, how did you feel about the Checkers' chances and their ability to do what ultimately you want to see happen, is to win a Calder Cup? Well, at that time, Jason, I felt like we had a very good shot, as good a shot as anybody in the league, quite frankly. When you, when you go to the ending of the season, a much different story, and there was a lot of disappointment, both with the hockey side, with the front office side, certainly on your side as well, because what the expectations were before the season and even during was that the team was going to contend for a Calder Cup, and it dismantled pretty rapidly. This was your first year as an owner of the team where you didn't make the playoffs. Can you go through your feelings as you saw what was certainly at one point a contender fall into a team that didn't even make the playoffs? Well, to start, I'm glad you waited a couple months to do the interview because <laughs> you wouldn't have wanted to interview me right, right after the season. And a lot of that is the fan in me and being emotional about things. But when you step back, you know, now that some time's passed, you can put a little different spin on it. I mean, I understand some of the stuff we were going through, the injuries, the call-ups. Uh, we were a pretty discombobulated team for quite a while there, and once everybody got back together, so to speak, we weren't able to put it back together overnight. Um, and we lost some key players, you know, people, while not a big score, I think the Sorrell loss was as big as any loss we had all year. I want to know what your ideas are moving forward for the Charlotte Checkers, just from the perspective as the team owner, what you'd like to see changed moving ahead to give Charlotte fans the understanding that we're going to do everything we can to ensure not only the team make the playoffs, but is a bona fide contender for a championship because that's the ultimate prize we've been chasing since, I think, since you've been in hockey. Well, you know, it's an interesting question. Um, I don't think there is a lot for us to really change. We had the talent here last year, but you know, circumstances are different every year. If you look at our first year, Carolina only had 66 games lost, players lost by games. And last year they had well over 130 games, which required our guys going up a lot more than they did the year before. So the continuity was a lot better obviously in the first year than it was last year. What does next year hold? I'm not sure, but I mean, our goal is always to win the uh, Calder Cup, and it will never deviate from that. I want to round out the interview by focusing on specifically the Charlotte Checkers and their off-ice, um, community-driven uh, priorities that you've been able to establish since being the owner with the Charlotte Checkers. If you look back on the number of years that the team has been able to accomplish a great deal of things, that made national headlines this past year, Wheels for Force was a huge initiative over taken by the Checkers fans and the team. When you have a chance to say, you know what, the hockey is what it is, ultimately we want to win on the ice, but our team together with the community has been able to give back in a way that few teams at this level can do and accomplish, and yet your team does it consistently. How proud of you, how proud are you of your staff and your team in that uh, direction? I'm extremely proud of what we do off the ice, and that's always been very important to me, but I also compartmentalize it too. That is off the ice. You know, make no mistake, I'm about wanting to win, first and foremost. But I also feel like we're winning off the ice also by doing what we do. I think dollar for dollar we put more into this community than any other team. Um, I believe we are consistently looking for ways to do things within the community. Our players, I have to give credit to, have been exceptional about following our blueprint and getting out there and doing things. So, you know, it's really, while well, you can sit here and say it's coming from me, it's really a team effort. Everybody has the buy-in and is doing their job. And we, yeah, we've done a fantastic job off the ice, and I'm very proud of that. Michael Kahn, uh, Checkers owner, thank you for your time. Thank you, Jason.